Alright guys, so we're playing some Nasus top playing in the new patch. We're playing versus either a Nico or a Nar. And what we have here is Fleet, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Scent. Then we're also running Biscuits. And then we specifically also run Cosmic here. Now this game... We're gonna have some fun. The Nar matchup is extremely easy for me. Um, partially early game, it's more like a farming matchup. It's really what it is. Um, however, once we hit level 6 specifically... And we eventually get our, you know, our uh, Lucidity Boots, Sheen, everything. This this game is going to become so easy, especially their team comp. They have Echo, Nico, Jinx, Thresh. These are all champions that I can absolutely demolish. One versus nine with Nasus. The only thing is that we have to play Flawless at the start of the match. And I'm expecting a good run. Nar is quite annoying because he's ranged. Usually champions that are ranged counter pretty much any top laner very hard but the thing is like nasus has a lot of sustain by default through the uh, the passive the build everything all right we're just avoiding the autos it's definitely okay if we lose like one or two last hits along the way just so we're safe we have actually an amumu pathing top however i'm not expecting the amumu gang to work very well unless this guy is going to overextend we'll see how that's going to go it's definitely okay if Nara hits the tower too, because in the early game it's shielded anyways. Got the, the cannon stack, nice. Alright. Oh, he's taking tower damage. That's bad for him. Still getting it, nice. We're getting most of the last hits. Stack that one. We already have 30 stacks. The reason why I got it so easily is because I stacked the cannon, and the cannon gives you so much. We have an Amumu pathing top here. It would be really good if we can get a flash out. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Actually, my jungler dies for this, but you know what? I'm okay with it. That's fine. I think that my jungler could have easily been alive after he, if he just backed in time. It could have been very easy for him. But that's no problem. Okay. Well, let's go back here. Wait, let me see if I can just grab one more. Nope. Okay, we need to back off. We don't have much of a choice anymore. Now, here's the fun thing. One thing that we can do this game is we can actually go into a steel caps. Now, let me showcase you what happens if I buy a steel caps, right? Normally on Nasus, you're always going to Lucidity Boots, you're always building Sheen, you're always going the same build most of the time. However, if you are in like in a ranged matchup like Nar, a champion who is like designed to like poke you through autos and, and, and Qs, and you go into a steel caps. You can tank so much, you will not die anymore. Check this out. We can literally out-sustain his damage. At level 6 now. Sidestep. We're still sidestepping everything at all costs. Nice one. It's okay if he, if he does some damage. Again, we have a lot of sustain. So, it's going to be okay. I'm not expecting... Anything bad to happen. I like how Nar is trying his absolute hardest to like stop me from stacking here. But literally nothing works. As you can see. My fleet is healing me back up. I still have two biscuits. I have one potion. I have everything ready. I'm about to hit level 6 here. I think I might go for a potion very soon. I even have my D shield like healing me all the time. It's one of the beauties about the matchup. Like, sustain always wins in these type of matchups. Okay, I need to stack the cannon specifically, because the cannon provides the most stacks. There you go. Got it. 84 stacks at 6 minutes in this matchup is fantastic. Let me just pop my W on him. It makes sense for him to all in. That's nice. I'm going to pop my biscuits. You see, the Steel Caps is doing a great job.
Look at this guy. He popped everything he had and he still hasn't killed me yet. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Look at how aggressive he's playing. He's not getting me low anymore. <laughs> Beautiful. I really like how Nessus is just free wins. Like, literally, you just... If, if you know the limits of the matchup, it's not much that can happen. You see, I healed everything back. Everything he done, I healed it all back. It's like goodbye to your lane, buddy. I think he might uh, transform. Yeah, he actually made the transform happen. Okay. I think I might actually die. Oh, or I don't. Alright. Let's see here. We have a Lissandra pathing top though. Nice. I'm taking the back anyways. I would gladly... Um, actually, what I'm going to do is just go Kindle Gem. Now, I have something to say about that. I could, in theory... Um, I could be going for Sheen right away and then just pick the right moment and then just go in, pop my W, my R, and just all in, right? There's the, uh, there's the option. But since I know in the back of my mind, like, hey, we win throughout sustaining, the best thing I can actually do is just go Kindle Gem because, again, I'm getting more tanky. It's going to make my Steel Caps even better because there's more that I can tank. And then on top of that, I get Ability Haze, which allows me to stack even faster. And by the time that I get Sheen, I'll have so many stacks, I will just completely obliterate him. So we're playing... We're playing just to play safe, mainly. The real fun will begin very soon. We already have 117 stacks. And this is a cannon wave, by the way. So we're about to get more. Look at this guy. He's doing no damage. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> He's doing no damage at all. Absolutely zero. He's trying so hard to do damage here. Look, look at this. He's trying so hard to do damage that even the wave is killing him right now. And I'm still at full HP. It literally hasn't changed anything. That's the power of Steel Caps and Kindle Gem while playing Nasus. Completely the opposite of what you normally build. I have no Sheen and look at my damage. Let me just heal up. There you go. Still have one potion. He's gonna have to jump away from this one if he wants to live. Okay. Somebody's about to die. That's kiting from him so far. Alright. Really nice kiting from him. But I got you. See? This guy is trying so hard to beat me. <laughs> but I'm just like popping my W. <laughs> and I got my teleport back so I can just TP back. Just crush him again. It's over for Nar. There you go. And 174 stacks. And we're only 10 minutes in the game going steel caps. That's like a really good run. I'm gonna cue the cannon. There we go, and then run for a life. We have an echo coming topside. Nice one. So let's actually go ahead and we will buy the sheen and then we start building into a long sword. There you go. I'm just gonna teleport back because the wave is pushing in the direction of Nar. That's very bad for me. It's not what we want. We have a Lissandra up here. However, I don't think that Lissandra can do that much. We also have an Amumu here. I'm just gonna ping the Herald because I think killing this guy is basically impossible. I can't really all in very easily. Now we can technically. He's like in the other, uh, other form. Okay. There you go. I'll have to do some sustaining here. This Lissandra can basically all in. Um, it doesn't really matter if this guy's gonna go back or not. We'll see what happens. 
Nice. I'm sharing too much XP with the Sancho. This guy has to make a choice. Uh, they can just push with me. We can just dive him for free. There you go. The Sanja lost a lot of time. Nice. Problem solved. Alright, you saw like my Chongner was literally about to walk away. Guys, if you see a play and you know it's a good play, don't be afraid to, you know, don't be scared to ask your jungler to do the other thing, right? If you see your jungler walking away and you know it's the right play, just ping them back, make them force a dive, okay? There's a lot of people in this game who are allergic to using their pings. There's a crazy amount of people. I've been coaching so many people and like more than 80% of the people I coach, these guys have been allergic to ping like people are scared to ping right don't be scared it's all good don't mind pinging there's a lot of people who are scared all right sometimes you just gotta make the call because your teammates often don't know what to do it's just the way it is especially in the lower elos of the game people don't know what to do and they will keep following right even in mid elos even in diamond people don't know what to do might sound crazy even in master games, people often don't know what to do. It's actually kind of crazy. Alright. I'm about to lose plates, but it is what it is. I've got such a massive lead from what I just did. I have like 252 stacks, like 13 men. I'm about to lose the cannon wave, which is super bad for my stacks, but it's okay. Stack these ones. Of course we lose that one, but that's okay. Let's see what he got. He's going for the Trinity build, I guess. I nearly have teleport back in 18 seconds, so the real fun will begin soon. I'm pathing on the right side on purpose, all right? So I can prevent the jump from Gnar. Nice. When you play versus Gnar, NAR players want to jump on you into the direction of the tower so they can escape afterwards. If you position yourself on the right side of NAR, he can't actually do that anymore. And he will try very hard to like still make it happen. And often they will put themselves into a worse situation by doing so. Positioning against NAR really matters. Now Echo is actually in Balane. Nice. I was trying to maximize my stacks run. Oh, what? Okay. Sure. Got my stack. Thank you very much. Now we have a very important choice to make in this game. When we look at their team comp, they have Echo, AP, Nico, AP, and then they have a Jinx, a Thresh, and Gnar, right? They have a mix of AP slash AD as well. Actually, plenty. So what we can do this game, in, rather than going uh, Thormail or whatever or Spear of Azarch, we're actually going to go directly into Stone Plate because Stone Plate gives you um, it gives you the perfect stats slash effect against both of them. Right? Gives us a uh, armor, MR, gives us ability haste. But on top of that, we can all land using this item and basically tank both, right? And then after the stone play, we can then make the choice like, hey, do we want to go Thormel? Do we want to go Spear of Azaj? And that will completely depend on how fed these guys are. If, if these guys aren't very fed, we go Thormel. If they're really fed, we go Spear of Azaj. So we're going to be adapting this game based off of what we're seeing here. But first we go stone play. Ah, this guy is like... Purposely uh, baiting. I see what he's doing. Well, they're wasting their time. If Echo is truly trying to gank me, then good luck, have fun. It's really bad. Because I can just stack for free. Look at this, guys. I'm not even taking any damage. 
Okay, now we can all in. Thank you. Okay. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Okay. It is what it is. I wish I really had that kill for myself, if I'm truly honest with you. I uh, wish I had my ultimate at the time being. I didn't have my ultimate. That was well played by the enemy team. They got uh, both of us. Right, he's gonna die though. Oh man. Bot lane is uh, the tower is gone completely. Wait, let's see what happens. Oh, there's three people. I see what's going on here. And uh, there's the Nico, by the way. Uh, Lissandra is not moving, so I'm all alone. Oh man, I play. I make this play for Lissandra. I got no movement from Lissandra. I TP so I could close their path from walking away, so that Lissandra could just walk up and kill them. Uh, completely waste my teleport because of it. It's fine. Whatever. We're close at the dragon right now. It is what it is. 375 stacks. It's looking good. We do have Lucian top lane, which is actually really bad. Especially now at the time of dragon. But yeah, that's what it is. Actually, on top of that, Lucian dies. Okay. That's bad. This guy was actually worth a lot. Hmm. This game is going to be a challenge. Hmm. All my teammates are dying right now at the worst possible time in the game. Four people. Okay. Time to speed up the process. We're losing the entire mid. Wow. Unbelievable. Hmm. I am definitely not happy. Wow. I don't really know what to say. That's insane. The Thresh was able to move. Very much instant. This is a very bad call too, but let's see how let's see how it's gonna go. Because uh their the entire team has been resetting. Maybe they're in time and they could actually secure the dragon. Yes. Nice. Okay. That's pretty good. We have a big challenge ahead of us because as it appears, like my whole team has been going really bad ever since, right? Which led to them becoming worth a lot. They've actually been farming the bounties on my teammates. And it's really, it's just happening again. Whole team died. They get Baron right now. There's nothing I can do. Oh man, my teammates are dying over and over. This is really bad. I think I can make a solid difference because I think they're separated. No. Just change targets. Nice. Should not have changed targets. That's a bit worrying. The Jinx was worth 1,000 gold. Priorita prioritizing Jinx at all costs there was the best choice. 
Thrash wasn't worth anything. Okay. Oh no. Uh, my teammates are getting caught just over and over. It's uh, very consistent. This is not going the right path. There's not much I can change by myself because I can't teleport there to help them out. They're always dying 1 versus 5. So there's nothing I can do on my part. I can't, you know, prevent it. Okay, this is it. This is one we should be taking. They're completely separated from the entire team. to get him. Well, not anymore, I guess. I still got my item, so I'm not going to die. No need to worry there. Clean. Uh, my teammate should actually have him. Mm, yeah, my E doesn't reach. It's too far away. Yeah, there's not much you can do there. The chase is not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, man. Like, unless... What? He's walking this direction. Okay, it's not worth it. This game is tilting. Can I be honest? This game is tilting. My teammates are dying everywhere. I know I'm talking a lot about my teammates, but that chase was just bad. Alright. We have Tormel. I'm still believing that this game is winnable to some extent. I still believe it's a tough one. But we have Thormel now. We can actually cut down so much from Jinx. I think that I might probably skip on the Spear of Visage for now, because I suspect that Jinx is more of a problem than anyone else will be. So what I actually want to do is I, I want to go directly into Frozen Hard. This might be a very good item for Jinx. And then later on in the game, we can go for Spear Visage towards the end. I know that Nico does a lot of damage, but it's a risk that I want to take. I also don't think that Echo can do very much. This guy is going for Nash's Tooth. So, all right, let's take all of these ones. We have teleport ready and available, which means if another team fight is about to happen right now, um, we could literally teleport towards it, make a really good play happen. I think I might shove a little bit harder though, because this is. <laughs> <laughs> Going this slow is not going to help. We have a Gnar like farming topside. And one guy is dead, which means three people remain. Okay. Nice. Wow, Jinx is feeding. At least I hope. Nice. Amazing. This is actually kind of good, I'm not gonna lie. There's uh, two people who died. There's a Thrash. Thrash doesn't do very much. This guy just kind of exists. Okay. 
This is something that I gotta teleport to. Maybe just go back to stacking. It's this best choice we have. Nice. 651 stacks. There will be a massive team fight, which I want to go for. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead. I, I, I don't want to go Frozen Heart anymore. I'm just going to change my strat a little bit because um, as it turns out, the Nico has been farming my team now. So now it's Nico being fed. It's a scary one because Nico does a lot of damage too. Uh, quick question, why ult there? It's because I want to speed up the process since I knew where people are. Wait, really? That guy is separated from the team like that? Can't really all in though. Now I can. Activated a little bit early. Oh, really? Uh, wow, I'm so lucky. I've been tanking the tower for 10 years. Okay. And we need the inhib. This inhib is going to carry us the game. Because it's going to open up the map in so many ways. This is so unbelievably good, you have no idea. Now, the only thing we got to do is reset again. And then group mid lane because I suspect that the enemy team will go barren right now. And if that's the case, it's going to be extremely challenging. So I'm just going to ping 2 million times. I want my teammates to be aware what's about to happen. Actually, they're not going barren. Oh, they're going dragon. All right. Okay, I need all my teammates mid. Literally everybody mid. After Lucian farms this way, of course. Okay, Lucian is top and Lissandra's bot lane. That's terrible. Dragon spawns in like 20 seconds. Their positioning is completely off. There's no Lucian involved in this team fight. Absolutely not. Look how hard we win. See? Easy, e super easy, man. Literally, we had Lissandra bot lane, we had a Lucian top lane. Lissandra managed to move over. However, we're Nasus, right? This is like bound to happen. I don't think we can actually go for the tower. Actually, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Is this an echo? It's just an echo. Of course, my champion walks all the way around. All right, say goodbye to your base. There you go. But yeah, either way, really nice carry. This was NASA's top lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.